This is the second video on group isomorphisms. So we define again the what a group isomorphism is. Um, an isomorphism, an isomorph, isomorphism phi from a group G to a group G prime is a one-to-one -one mapping or function from G to G prime that preserves the group operation. It means for all A and B in G, phi of A operation B equals phi of A operation prime phi of B operation of this, this group here. Um, if there is an isomorphism from G to G prime, we write it this way, G isomorph. Sometimes you can also write it this way, okay, but I'll, I'll my, my, uh, or this way, there are many ways to, to, to denote the, um, the, 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 the isomorphism. This is my clearly my favorite one. I'm more or less repeating, maybe in a different way, the the, um, the conditions for an isomorphism. Okay, I'm going to call it this time. I'm going to call it one. Um, uh, let us call it mapping. Okay, so you have to have a fee, you have to have an operation, okay, and that fee will be the candidate for the isomorphism, okay. So your fee will define a, a function from the group G to the group G prime. Step two. Uh, this this phi has to be one to one. Okay, so you have to prove that phi is one to one. Okay. So for all a in b, uh, what shall I use here? For all a and b in g, you say phi of a equals phi of b if and only if a equals b or you can say phi of a is different from phi of b if and only if a is different from uh, uh, from b my my favorite one is this one phi of a equals phi of b if and only if a equals b that's the very definition of injection right uh, then you have to prove that um, you have to prove that the phi is onto. Okay, to prove that phi is onto, you have to prove that for all uh, g bar in. No, I'm going to use a prime. I don't like this this notation here. For all g bar in the group, uh, for all g prime in the the group g prime, um, so for g prime, there will always be a uh, for all g prime in in g prime. For all G prime in G prime, there is a G in G such that uh, G prime equals phi of G. Okay, so we have to prove that it is uh, onto. Okay, and um, you have also to prove that, so you prove the mapping. You prove it is one to one. You prove it is onto, and you also have to prove that 
um, fee preserves the operation. So you prove that if A times B equals phi of A operation phi of B. Okay, for all A and B in G. I'm calling G here, A here. Okay, I'm changing the the, the, the elements at um, at every step, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, especially here in group theory, it, it really doesn't matter the, the name of the element. Okay, so check if it is if you have a mapping. Check if it is one to one. Check if it is onto. Uh, check it is. Um, uh, operation preserving it, if it preserves the operation okay if all this happens then uh, you do have a group isomorphism let me explain what what operation operation uh, preservation might might mean if you have G with operation with this operation and you have G prime with the same operation then when you do phi times B it has to be equal to phi of A times phi of B okay so the operation was preserved here okay or if you have G operation, this can be the usual multiplication, and G prime addition. What is a, uh, preserving the operation? Means phi times B equals phi of A times, time, uh, sorry, plus, plus, uh, I'm going to write it in black, plus, plus phi of B. If this is G uh, under addition and this is G under multiplication so phi of A plus B this plus here equals phi of A times phi of B. Okay, so the operation was preserved. If you have G plus, this was G prime, G prime plus, then phi of A plus B equals phi of A plus phi of B. Okay, so we we we, we take a first example. Uh, let us take two sets or two groups. Uh, this group is the real numbers under addition and this one the not the, the the positive real numbers under multiplication here okay all the real numbers here but only the positive real numbers here okay uh, we can say that these two groups are isomorphic why is that? Well, first we have to get a phi. I say phi of x will be... So, phi... Um, will, um, phi is the function that defines the isom isomorphism. Okay, let us check that that is true. So phi is a function from 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 this set to this set. No, there's no doubt about it, right? So then you have to prove that it is one to one. Okay, that's really easy, because if suppose that you have two to the power of x equals two to the power of y, you take logs on both, right? Log base 2, 2 of x equals log. So you take logs and 
um, this implies that x equals y. So this proves that phi is 1 to 1. Okay, so this is an injective. Okay, if two images are equal, you see, the objects will be equal. Okay, let us prove that it is onto. Um, okay, so we have to prove that um, for any y there will always be a phi of x. Okay? Okay. So, for any y, what is phi of x? It's 2 to the power of, of x. Well, um, we just do x equals um, log base 2 of y. Right? So, proved okay meaning for any y in the images there will always be a x object namely log base 2 of y for that y okay so phi is onto okay now what about um, is it operation preserving? So for all x and y, I'm taking two objects. Um, let us see. Uh, what is phi? so? This is under addition, right here. Okay, so f x plus y should equal f of x times right times here addition here right times phi of y is this true well um, let's try to see if that is true what is f phi of x plus y the the operation is this with the operation not the operation the function is this one right okay so it will be 2 to the power of x plus y. Okay, but what is 2 to the power of x plus, plus y? It's 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of y. Okay, but this is phi of x times phi of y. Okay, phi of x plus y equals phi of x times phi of y. Okay, so yes, it is operation preserving okay so okay we can say that the real numbers under addition the group of the real numbers under addition is isomorphic to the group of the positive real numbers under multiplication 